Boy, he shot out the door and you be chasing him for at least 10 minutes. One day I got tired of chasing him. I was like, I, I, I guess you belong to somebody else. Take me in your arms. Do just what you want. You're the one I trust. I belong, I belong to you. And I always be around. Good morning, family. Welcome back to Peg. And the Don. We got an early, early start. It's like 7.30-ish. It's cool and breezy out. This is the time we should be walking. Exactly. It feels nice and cool. I mean, the sun is out, but it's not blazing. Because yeah. when we come at 9 o'clock, it's kind of, the sun gets kind of hot. Yeah. That two-hour time difference yeah. makes a big difference. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, when you come out here this early, that's when a lot of people are walking their dogs and stuff. So we got a lot more dogs out here. But these dogs are well-behaved. Exactly. Well -behaved. They don't bother. Well-behaved dogs. Peggy has talked about getting a dog before. I still want a cute one, <laughs> but I have to get things in order. Yeah. I have to get my house first. <laughs> and a dog. We've had a dog before. Yeah. And. Well, see, here's the thing, though. We bought the dog for Tiffany. Mm-hmm. And she messed that dog up, y'all. He was a nice little docile, little mild-mannered dog. And when she got through with him, he was biting at people's ankles and chasing you down the street. He was just bad. And don't open the front door. He would run. Couldn't even catch him. He'd be running. It was a, it was a chihuahua. A chihuahua, y'all. It was, uh, and it was very tiny. Now they made this purchase. Where was that when y'all made this uh, dog selection? Well, I told you about it. Donald, that's when he went to Afghanistan. Okay. And we bought the dog. He was so cute. He was a purebred and he was like so little and tiny when I got him. I wish I had put him in like a school or something, you know, yeah. to teach him how to use the bathroom. But he had no discipline. Like, when you open the front door, he jot out the door, and you be chasing him for at least 10 minutes. One day, I got tired of chasing him. I was like, I, I, I guess you belong to somebody else. <laughs> About three minutes later, because I, I had the uh, screen door closed, but the the uh, house door was open, you know, so you could see outside. And about three minutes later, I heard this deadly barking, and he's jumping up so high because the screen door has a little netting at the bottom and the glass at the top. He was jumping high and screaming, bloody murder. <laughs> and so I opened the door, he ran in the house to the furthest corner in the back. And I'm like, what is wrong with this dog? I look outside, two other little dogs just walking casually behind him. I guess he thought they was gonna get him. That's the only time you could get him to come in the house is if he being bullied. And I was just like, yeah. if he saw another dog, well, I mean, we would try to catch this dang on dog, and he'd run fast enough and look back just to make sure, okay, they ain't close yet. Oh, they ain't close yet. And I'm like, look, I don't have time. So, exactly. so by the time, I, like I said, so by the time I got back from Afghanistan, I was in charge of walking this crazy dog and cleaning up behind this crazy dog. If I, the next dog I get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure he gets trained, potty trained, you know, like, I don't want a wild dog, I want a house dog. Yeah. Something cute I can dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be one of them dogs. I can see it now. Yeah, that's that's the kind of dog you want. But Amazon you have... car full of dog outfits. <laughs> <laughs> or I have to pull out my old crocheting hook and make him some clothes now <laughs> donald may want a german shepherd of some sort but what we can have both what yeah you don't ever want to have <laughs> one you know what i'm saying like you don't want to have one you want to have two so they'll have somebody but you can get you a pug you like a pug you know i kind of like pugs i like little british bulldogs yeah see we could get a, a terrier and a pug and they will be best friends well, there you go. See? It's that attachment, though. I'm going to feel, like, feel like, oh, what's going on with Jeffrey or whatever our dog name going to be? 
We're going to give them highly intelligent names. We're going to call one Bartholomew. <laughs> but his nickname will be Bart. Bart. Okay. <laughs> you already got a plan. No, it sounds don't, don't sound like she's been thinking about it. That's a no. pretty good plan, y'all. Mine going to be called Hezekiah. Oh. So when I take him out, I'll be the Hezekiah Walker. <laughs> 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 See, I caught her off guard with that one, y'all. Another point for Donald. She almost fell over on that one, y'all. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp, womp. <clears throat> That's a good old egg when you need one. I got a million of them, folks. We have to get on our house quest. Yeah. The thing is, we are running into a dilemma. And we're just trying to decide. St. Louis, yeah. I found the most beautiful home in the world, but it's at the top, 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 top of our price range. Or do we go back to Savannah? With things to do and beautiful surroundings, but less family. So. Well, but that's why you visit. <laughs> Everybody is grown now. My gut is telling me to stay. Yeah. But I hate it here. My health is not good here because I'm stressed all the time. So that's my answer right there. Yep, we're going back to Savannah. We're going to Savannah, y'all. <laughs> we're going to stop looking. See how easy that was? Yep. Decision made right here. Yep, because stress will kill you. Stress will kill you. I considered reopening my daycare, but my patients have gotten thin. And you have to know your limits. Yeah. Because when you're working with children, you have to have patience. You have to. Yeah. And I don't have it anymore. So I can't do that. You have to have, you have to be there, a patient person to do daycare. And if you can't leave them kids, just leave them alone. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave those children right where they are. Some days I miss it. And other days I'm like, oh, thank you, God. I don't have to do that job no more. Because <laughs> I had a, I had a, a child care in my home through the Army when I lived on the military base. And I, I had a pretty well-run system. You could have seven kids, I think. And you get to pick the kids, well, the age groups and stuff like that. I never wanted babies because I didn't want to have to change diapers and do stuff like that but anyway I want to start some type of business you know from home I don't know if I'm gonna do an Etsy shop or something but I need to do something to get my time you know because if I don't I'll lay in the bed all day yeah. and that's not a way to live yeah but Peggy did the extra part and I'm gonna use the excuse that uh I did the lawn mowing yesterday. That's a big exercise right there. Yeah. You should have seen it. Peggy was like, I said, Peggy, I'm going to go, do a, go mow the lawn. She was like, are you sure? It's kind of hot outside. I'm like, yeah, I got to do it. Man's got to do what a man's got to do. Okay. <laughs> and then she was like, well, make sure you get that part on the side and make sure you do this and make sure you do that. Makes hey, me question her true can, concern no, right there. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> If you're going to do it, do it right. Heat be damned. Well, yeah, we don't have a tiny yard, so that took a good hour of pushing and stuff like that. So, yeah. But she wrote me this morning and said, hey, we walking? And I can't say no to Peggy, so. Yes, you can. You say it quite often. I can't say no to Peggy. And so this is where we are. Out here on Sunday morning walk. What about a rest day? Hmm. But, so we on lap two? Not yet. We haven't passed well, our car again. Oh, <laughs> Peggy boy, she don't, she don't cut you a break. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If you're going to do it, do it right. You got to do it right. Ain't no sense in half asses. Ain't no half stepping. <laughs> Who sings that song? Uh, 
flashlight. Oh, uh, Parliament Funk. Whoever sings flashlight sings with no hair. Okay. I got my goat shirt on, greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. Try to figure out who the greatest of all time singing groups are. They don't even make singing groups like they used to. They don't make singing groups like they used to. Music is horrible now. I really feel like it's got to be between the Isley Brothers and Earth, Wind, and Fire. I, I can't even... What? Wait, you disagree? I'm not disagreeing. But you have to get a list of your top five or top ten. Okay, we could throw in Temptations and The What's Spinners. That and What's that group we always listen to? Serpentine Fire? Oh, uh, that's, that's Earth, Wind, and Fire. Is it? Yeah. OJ's good music. Oh, Frankie Beverly in the maze. Why was it just not maze? Come on, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I think about groups, I think about Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Yeah, that was a that was pretty bad. We watched a special about the life of Pet Teddy Pendergrass. And he was the lead singer for Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. But Harold Melvin wanted all the glory. And the pet. And the money. <laughs> People would go to their concerts and thought Teddy Pendergrass was Harold Melvin because he was the whole group. They ain't come to see you, Harold. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Teddy needed money. Mm -hmm. He went to Harold Melvin and like he needed at least a couple thousand dollars. He went under his mattress where it was stocked full of money and pulled out $200 and tried to give it to him. So, he ended his career for $200. Yep. <laughs> he could have had Teddy Pendergrass for years. Yep. And just kept making big money. But instead, he got cheap or jealous or both. And that was the end of it. Teddy went on to bigger and better things. Got his own albums. Some of my all-time favorite songs. For real, as an individual singer, I put Teddy right there with Luther and Al Green. Pig is not a big fan of Al Green, I don't think. Not really an Al I, Green. I'm not. Yeah, she's and not I an Al Green person. I'm going to tell you another one I didn't care for too much is Lou Rawls. Even though they had some monster hits. Yeah. Those I'm, two, I just, for some reason, I never did like them. Yeah. Now, when you go to the female singers, uh, Gladys Knight, man, I love me some Gladys Knight. Anita Baker, Whitney Houston was one of the greatest of all time. She was, yeah. Tragic story. Yeah. I'm going to tell you, though, even though Whitney Houston had a great catalog of music, I did not care for her for some reason. I'm about to tick some people off with this one who I didn't care for. Ooh. I don't know if I even want to say it. <laughs> say it, Donald, say it. Aretha Franklin was good, but to call her the queen of soul. I'm, I'm, Have you I'm, heard her early music? See, so you got with Aretha, you can't just come in at the tail end of her. Yeah. You can't. She was a fantastic singer. She was. She was not my top five. Exactly. She, she has some great soul music. Like exactly. You know what I'm but she didn't need uh, studio equipment to make her sound decent. Mm -mm. But. Like I say, they don't make singers like they used to anymore. Now they just put you in the studio, do something to your voice, make you sound good. Hell, if they put me in there, I sound like Whitney. <laughs> but that ain't pure, so like, give me somebody who can sing a cappella. Like right now, Kiki Wyatt is oh. dope. Like, she fine. never really got. Well, it's, <laughs> people say it's her attitude. We don't know her to say that that's true. Yeah. But it's gotta be something, because that lady right there can sing. Yeah. Like keep nobody right now today can handle Kiki. I love Jennifer yeah. Hudson's voice. Yeah. I love Fantasia's voice. Beyonce is a performer. She's a fantastic gonna, entertainer. Yes, yeah, she is. Exactly. I'm not gonna take that from her. She has a voice, but she is not top anything now. When you Whoa. Want to talk, no, I'm saying like as far as vocals go. Oh. But performance, because <laughs> I once paid seven hundred dollars for one ticket to go see Beyonce. So, she gives you your money's worth. The girl will, I mean, she is worth it. 
I'm yeah. just telling you, she's a, if you've never seen yeah. her in concert before, go see her. Gladys Knight. And I'm going to tell you another one people sleep on is Stephanie Mills. Steph, I was going to say Stephanie Mills, I swear. She has a great voice. Like, yes. you got to go old school, like, where you had to really have talent to make a song. Yeah, yeah Jeffrey Osborne, to me, he, but, you know, he was better to me than Lionel Richie, but, you know, you... I guess Lionel Richie had that selling factor. Yeah. But I'm not going to take away from all the great hits that Lionel Richie had. I'm not trying to do that. Zoom with the Commodores. Zoom was good. And then we didn't even talk about the girl groups. <laughs> we can we, go on and on forever yeah, I with know, the girls. I know, but I'm just saying, we had some really good... Like, Diana Ross and the Supremes. Yeah. They were okay. But they ain't nothing like the SWVs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Vocally, Peggy's hit get that that hard hitting commentary this morning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that hard hitting commentary. No, I'm talking only vocally. If you put Diana Ross on a mic on the mic with no music, how do you think she would sound? <laughs> I'm just being honest. I, yeah, see, you, I go with vocal. Yeah, you can't compare that to Kiki White or nobody. Yeah, that's what. I'm, but I mean, they they're two different eras, yeah. so you can't even. Yeah. Do that, but when I listen to music, I listen to the actual voice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that you used to be able to feel something when people sing. Yeah, Phyllis Hyman was another one. Oh man, underrated, great singer. Man. So anyway, I don't know how we got on there. <laughs> I but struck I, a chord see, right I mean, there. No, but, I like what I like. I can't force nobody else to like it. I'm sure it's a whole lot of people we're leaving out. But that's my that's my that. <laughs> and that's her that, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to finish up this walk. And we'll catch y'all in the car for the car talk. There go those stairs again. I'm still not running it. I'm still not running up them stairs. You better <laughs> not if you know what's good. <laughs> I know what's good for me. I'm not falling for it. They they look they look easy. They look so innocent. Because when you come by here, people are running up and down them steps. Mm -hmm. Crazy people. Just I mean they make it look so like so easy until you get about five steps in and you saying oh damn. What <laughs> just five, five steps just in. Just five steps in. It is thirty one <laughs> steps up, thirty one down. Yep, five steps in. You know. <laughs> What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> well, I say five steps in. Yeah. Who knows? I'm going to do it one day, like I said, but I can't think of it anytime soon. But uh, like I said, let's finish this walk up and uh, we'll see y'all in the car for the car talk. Here's a video of Peggy leaving me in the dust. All right, family. So we are back in the car. I ran up a couple of hills, so I had to take an extra little walk to get my heart rate back down to regular. And as we were sitting in this parking lot, I was thinking, you know what we should do? Like after our walk, we should do, I don't know what you call this workout, but like, you know, where people have like tires and Oh, you talking about CrossFit. Things. Well, I don't want to do CrossFit because my knee, yeah. but I want to go get a tire as big as can fit in the back of my car and my truck mm -hmm. and bring it out here. And you know how people flip oh, it yeah. over? Yeah. I want to add that to our workout. I think that would work better. We need, where would we get a tire like that? Would we have to go like to a, we need like a tire from an F-150 or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. Not like a 18 wheeler truck. Oh yeah, you can go to the used tire yard and get one for 30 bucks. I want to do that. We're going to do that tomorrow. I think that would just add to it. You know okay. what I'm saying? I, I would like to do, because this is a nice big parking lot and it's not that, they got like several parking lots here and there's never anybody in them. You know what I'm saying? Like you might catch a couple people out here doing stuff they ain't got no business doing but <clears throat> for the most part I could walk a tire down and walk it back Man, I want to do that like 
Well, that that is a that is a serious workout. But hey, I will support you one hundred percent. Like when doing. Donald went to Afghanistan the first time, that's we they they gave all the wives whose husbands were deployed any uh, exercise routine that the gym offered. We could do it for free. So we were doing belly dancing. We were doing Zumba. We were doing CrossFit. We were doing just anything that they offered. It was free. All you had to do was go. You know what I'm saying? And I went to all of them. And I'm going to tell you right now, I dropped, dropped weight. Like I was almost skinny. She was skinny. You weren't almost skinny. <laughs> but anyway, so I need to start incorporating stuff like, because cardio is good for me. That's what helps me with my mm -hmm. weight loss. So I'm, I'm going to step my game up just a little bit more because what we're doing, it is working like I'm it's working a little bit like but it's not working like I need it to work. Can we put a tire in the backyard? No, it's got to be on concrete. No, you know how many spiders we got oh, in our backyard? Yeah, that's right. It's arachnophobia back there. That's right. Remember that movie arachnophobia? <laughs> or eight-legged creatures? Yeah. Have, have y'all seen that movie? That, look, I like Peggy dumb movies. Watched the Eight-legged eight freaks. Listen eight. to me. Listen to me. <laughs> I don't know if it's on Netflix. I don't know if it's on Spectrum, Hulu, on whatever. Eight-legged freaks. It was so dumb to I was almost peeing on myself laughing. <laughs> hey, look, trust me. <laughs> Funniest dumb movie you ever. Like I say, the world is too serious. Eight-legged freaks will get you out of your... If you feeling bad, go get that movie. It's just so dumb, you have to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's what's in our backyard, and I'm not willing to have... Because we do have a nice size yard, but yeah. you need concrete to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because I've only seen people do it on concrete. I haven't seen them. Okay. I just want to do it. I just want to see what happens. I'm going to do it for a couple of weeks. If it don't work, we'll take the dog on tire back. But anyway, that's all we have for you today. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. You know, like I always say, get outside and go do something good for yourself. And others. And for others. Oh, please like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. Thanks a lot, fam. We'll see y'all next video. Peace. Take me up. Just what you want You're the one to try